Welcome to my channel Living Linux. In this video, I want to have a quick look at the performance of the Aldo Cube iPlay 70 Mini Pro Android 15 tablet. So you can see that we're running Android 15 and it has the July 2025 Android security update and it looks like this particular version was built on the 13th of August 2025. So it's a good sign that they uh, still are pushing out updates. Uh, of course, there's no guarantee that they will upgrade it to Android 16. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a good sign that they are updating it. So let's keep our fingers crossed for more updates. Now I'm using wireless projection because I wasn't able to get HDMI working from the USB-C port, unfortunately. Uh, wireless projection, um, yeah, it, it needs a device that can accept the signal. And there's also like a small delay like half a second, one second in that range. So here, if you go to the featured functions, and then you can see that there is the option of wireless projection. So let's do some performance benchmarking. Let's try uh, 3D Mark Wildlife. So that test will run for 60 seconds. And with the TechLast P50 AI, it was almost like a slideshow, but the chip was also uh, slower than what we have with the Aldo Cube iPlay 70 Mini Pro. Yeah, it it's, doesn't hit uh, 60 frames per second, but it's uh, if this would be a game, then it's, let's just say, doable. But I guess for a sub 150 euros tablet, then this is reasonable uh, performance. So I'm getting to the last 10 seconds. And we get a bit over 2200. And the average frame rate is 13.24. So yeah, I think that's not bad for a budget uh, tablet. Now, one of the tests that I usually do is a uh, WebGL aquarium. So 5,000 fishes, a bit over 50 frames per second. Sometimes it even hits 53. And if we tried it with 500 fishes, then it's a bit over 70 frames per second. And I think sometimes it hits uh, 72. So yeah, that's uh, it's not bad. Let's try some AI. So Pocket Pal, Llama 3.2, 3 billion parameters, uh, quantized. So let's see, what is the highest mountain on Earth? Uh, 
So it's not super fast, but um, well, I, th I think the speed is acceptable. So 3.28 tokens per second. So I think that's not bad for a, a budget tablet. Now I also tried stable diffusion. Not going to do that uh, live because I think that takes more than 10 minutes. Uh, so I already tried one image. Penguin on a surfboard. And I think you can say that this looks like a penguin on a surfboard. Penguin does look a little bit funny. But you can still recognize it as a penguin. Now, the Google Edge AI Gallery app, uh, it's in early release, so you can get it from the uh, Google Play Store. So you no longer have to uh, sideload it, and that's also an indication that they want to make it into like a proper app. So I think that's also a good thing. But the only yeah, downside with it is that the default models that you need to have an account on Hugging Face, uh, you can download some models that will work with it, but that you have to download them manually and then manually import them. Uh, not going through the process here, I'll leave a link in the description of the video if you're interested in that. So yeah, I think the last test that I'm going to do is uh, PlayStation 2 emulation with Ether SX2. So you can see that we're running with Vulkan. Um, no upscaling. I'm going to test with God of War, the European version. So that is a maximum of 50 frames per second. Um, So let's start that one and then we'll go to the beginning of the game. So when there's a lot of enemies on screen, then it, you do see a slight dip. And then there's also an indication that once you get to the uh, large bosses or monsters, that uh, you probably will have some serious slowdowns. But I guess that for most of the game, then it's playable. And then, uh, yeah, God of War is known to be quite a heavy game for emulators. So, yeah, the, the less demanding PlayStation 2 games that uh, looks like that will be uh, doable on this tablet. So that uh, concludes my test with this Although Cube iPlay 70 Mini Pro, uh, I think that you get um, a very nice tablet for less than 150 euros. And as I said, uh, if you can find some coupons, then it can get uh, significantly below the 150 euro mark. So, yeah. Um, are there any things that I that I'm missing? So yeah, some people say that they miss the headphone jack. Um, it should be possible to get a converter for that, so you can connect your headphone to the USB-C port. 
and then some people say like oh but then you can't charge it at the same time i mean like there are uh, splitter cables for that um it's not the nicest solution but yeah if, if you really need to then there's a possibility there uh, yeah for me that uh, i wasn't able to get hdmi working from the usb-c port uh, but yeah probably for most people that's not something that they use a lot and other than that then yeah i'm really happy uh, with this tablet but yeah to be honest uh, for my use cases then i will probably keep looking for a cheap android 15 or 16 tablet that you uh, that i'm able to use the hdmi output through usb-c so this is all for now and i hope to see you again in my next video